Now, I'm going to go back to takeoff, and I'm going to hit my add button, and I'm going to go back to my concrete flat work, and I'm going to grab this slab on grade assembly here. I'm going to accept it, and I'm going to go through my structural concrete, and I'm just going to go get some exterior walls and accept that as well. So I've just added two new assemblies to this new estimate that we just created. The reason I did that, if I come back to PowerPoint for a minute, again, I mentioned that a number of you on this call may be using OnCenter's on-screen takeoff software. So let's take a look at the power of the interface that we wrote here at WinS to OnCenter's on-screen takeoff software. So if I go back to this estimate, and then we actually open up the OnCenter software to a project, I can use OnCenter the way it was always designed to be run. So if I click on, let's say, an 8-inch slab on grade condition, I could come in here and do my takeoff for that 8-inch slab. So I might come over here, take off a slab, and see that I have 1,267 square foot of slab. And let's go to our exterior walls. And maybe we won't do all this just for saving time here. But I could also come in and get some exterior walls. So I got 75 lineal feet of exterior wall. So if we go back to WinEst, and I have my slab on grade assembly, and I have my exterior wall assembly, I could click on our interface to on center. When I click on that interface, you'll notice what we do is we read the work that we've done in WinEst, and we display it here. So if I click on my uh, assemblies that we just did in uh, WinEst, and we'll just go to our um, uh, uh, assembly view here. So. So here's our slab on grade. So here's the slab on grade that we have sitting over in WinS, but it's not quantified yet. So now what I can do is come in here, and it's prompting me for the area. Well, the area for that slab that we used in OnCenter is right here. It's 1,266 feet. I can hit the link button and drop that value right into the cell. I can come to the depth of concrete and see that the thickness of that slab was 8 inches. I can drop that into the cell. I can say I have 4 inches of base. I can come in here for the length of that slab or the perimeter of the slab, repurpose that information as well. And when I'm done answering all those same questions that I see in WinS that are necessary to generate quantities for the slab, I just say save those changes to the estimate. And then just as quickly, I could click on my concrete wall assembly over in WinS, and it's prompting me for the surface area for that wall. And according to OnCenter, the surface area is 972 square feet. I drop that value in. It wants to know the length. It's 74 feet. It wants to know the volume inside that wall. I collect that. I save it here. When I window over to WinEst, where before I had no quantities for my slab and I had no quantities for my wall, they've all been quantified, and it came from OnCenter. Now, the other thing that's true is again to show you that power of the audit trail. When I look at things like my slab on grade assembly, I could click on any one of these on the audit trail, and I can see that the source of this, you'll notice here in the audit trail, it says the source was the interface to OnCenter. So those quantities were derived from the takeoff that I did in OnCenter. Now, we know that plans change all the time. And in the interface to OnCenter that we wrote at WinS, we handle those changes well, too. For example, if I go back to my slab, and we'll say that this, this structure didn't exist the first time that I did my takeoff. It's new. I can come in here, add to my takeoff I'd done previously, and you notice I now have 2,509 square feet of slab. Well, that's quite a bit different than what my estimate reflects. My estimate was the 1,266 number. And 
if I go to my exterior wall and change that 75 feet and add to it, I can see I've taken that to 127 square, uh, 127 lineal feet. If I go back to the interface and update, you'll notice that every area where I have a problem, it turned red. So you'll notice here that in my assemblies, right, so in my slab on grade assembly that previously was relying on 1,266 lineal feet, it shows me that the thickness of the slab didn't change, but the area changed and the perimeter changed. So now what I'm going to do is update the links. It fixes all those values. I say save to the estimate. And now I'm going to go to my concrete wall, and I can see that all three of these values are no longer true. The length of that wall is 127 lineal feet, so on and so forth. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to update those links, save it back, and now when I go back to WinEst, and I look at my takeoff sheet, I can see in my takeoff sheet that all of those things have been corrected. So down below where I show my slab and my walls, they're now not based on the previous 1266. I've corrected all those things. So very, very powerful tool. But again, I used a template in Enterprise Data Manager as my beginning point for this estimate. So another powerful way to use Enterprise Data Manager.